Hello and welcome to another video on Python Essentials. This is Nikhil. So today we're going to be taking a look at extraction using indexing and slicing, right? Basically, we have a list of names where we talk about certain employers hiring certain employees, okay? Like the Walsh Group here hired Ganesh, John Deere hired Isha, so on and so forth, okay? So we have... <coughs> Excuse me, we have different company names here and the string length of each of these strings would be different. Okay, given that we have basically different entities, right? So what we'd first do is, I think we could get rid of this full stop in the end, okay? Since we only require the name, Let's run this and we create a new set of, of strings, which we do with stripping off the punctuation mark, which is a full stop. All right, let's copy that for ease and we reassign these two new strings basically new variables, All right? Which goes up to S1 to S5, str 5 there we go. Now we have the new strings, which no longer contain these full stops. We just take a look at one, for example, there you go. So now what we need to do is going back, we can see the word hired is common for each and every string. All right. So let's find out what would be the index location of the word hired. Right. This is how we get it. And in this case, it is 11. This would vary for each and every string, right? But for S1 in particular, we take a look to begin with. From hired, basically, you want to take away the length of the string itself, that particular word, and go one beyond that so that you get the index of the name, right? That's what we are looking for. So what we do is find out INDS1 is equal to S1 dot index hired plus the uh, length of the string hired, right? Plus one for this and two for this. Or probably we're talking about this indexing. At this point, we're talking about the indexing of H would be the same as indexing of hired, right? So we need to go plus four plus one would take us to the indexing of the space. So we're really talking about plus four plus one plus one right, which would be six in all. Okay, so the length of the hired takes care of that. All right, length of the hired takes care of all of this. We just need to add one. Let's take a look at that. Okay, and if we now had to pass S1, IND underscore S1, going up to the end of the string, there you go, we should be able to locate the name in this fashion, all right? So we're talking about the index location of this. We're adding to it the length hired and one more to get up to the index location of the name, right? So this is something that we could do in each case. Okay. And uh, 
Let's quickly take a look at that over here. Next one. All right. So we just need to replace the numbers over here with S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5. Everything else being the same. All right. And uh, in order to extract these, we just say reassign S1 is equal to this. And go on and do a multiple assignment right here. Right? Okay. S2, S2, S3, going on with S3. Let's make sure we have our commas in place. All right. This is what we are assigning to the new S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5, right? So our list of names is what we are seeking. We can now claim it to be S4 and S5. Let's see if we have these names. Print list underscore names. There we go. All five names have been extracted from the original sentences.